A more than 30 year old cold case murder in Battle Creek now solved after a piece of evidence was tested with some new technology. Our Lauren Coomer telling us how that technology got investigators the answers they thought they knew for the past three decades. Lauren. Yeah, Derek and Annie, an old blood sample was collected from one of the suspects in the rape and murder case of Gail Barris from back in 1988, a decision that has now paid off. It's a very complex investigation, and really it was uh, just the due diligence of a detective kind of picking it back up and taking a second look at a case that had kind of been, you know, put on the shelf for, for many years. An evidence shelf in the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. That's where a blood sample has sat for the last 32 years, taken from a suspect named Roger Plato. He was suspected in the 1988 murder and rape of Gail Barris, but evidence back then indicated he wasn't the right guy. Now that's changed. We had already been told that he wasn't a contributor. It goes to the lab and sure enough, it actually was the uh, contributor for um, the person that had sexually assaulted and ultimately killed Mrs. Barris. Investigators took that sample from Plato after he was killed in an officer involved shooting before Barris's body was even found. But at the time, technology prevented them from making the match. When his blood was sent in to be compared to um, evidence that was left behind by the deceased, they weren't able to determine who was the major and who was the minor contributor to the blood. Or, or to the to the DNA itself. That is until now when results from the lab are more precise. The Calhoun County Sheriff's Office says the sample was found during a regular audit of evidence and sent in for that new testing. Battle Creek Police saying this gives them hope for future cold cases. And if we've got something that we believe we can solve, um, especially with modern day technology and advancements, that's something that we would definitely take a second look at and possibly reopen. While other cold cases would proceed to a trial to determine if the suspect is guilty, Plato has been deceased, so they're unable to do that. However, they're not finished looking at the blood work to see if he has any other involvement in other cases they have yet to solve. Reporting live in Battle Creek, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you for that. Meanwhile